Tonight, we can proudly say the state of our union is strong and getting stronger. President Biden gave his State of the Union address on Thursday. He focused on his accomplishments, deflected criticism about his age, and set the stage for his campaign against former President Donald Trump. Texans in Congress had a mixed response to the president's address, largely based on what side of the political aisle. Congresswoman Monica de la Cruz delivered the Republicans' Spanish language response to the State of the Union. The South Texas Congresswoman said the president did little to address concerns of the people she represents. He is clearly disconnected from the everyday American. He didn't talk about the rising gas prices. He didn't talk about going to the grocery store and how people are struggling just to afford groceries that they need to feed their children. I come from a district that is 90% Hispanic. Hispanics tend to have larger families. That means more mouths to feed. What my people, my district were looking for, or they were looking for an answer to how these prices prices were going to come down and they can afford everyday life. Texas Democrats had a much different take. South Texas Congressman Henry Cuellar congratulated the president after the speech, saying, quote, you were on fire. And Houston Democrat Al Green praised the inclusiveness of the address. I was impressed with the fact that he covered a wealth of issues that impact our nation, but also impact the globe. For example, at home, if you're a young person, you have to be pleased with what he said about education. And, you know, he's uh, helped us get student loan forgiveness for millions of people. Uh, if you're a senior citizen, you have to be impressed with uh, the fact that insulin is going to be $35 for you. And he wants to make it for everybody $35. Two Texans were in the chamber as guests of First Lady Jill Biden. The president mentioned both of them during his address. As he spoke about work to curb gun violence, Biden recognized 18-year-old Jasmine Cazares. Her sister Jackie was killed in the Robb Elementary School shooting in Uvalde. The president also denounced the Texas law banning almost all abortions, recognizing Kate Cox in the audience. She was denied an emergency abortion by the state Supreme Court after her doctor determined that her health was in danger. Cox is a mother of two. She had to travel out of state to get that emergency abortion. The largest wildfire in Texas history is still burning, but it's already left some ranchers facing financial ruin. The damage, and who's stepping up to help?